What's up, YouTube? Brian here. The plan today is to call some of these Congo Tetras and go trade them in. I think I have nine in there right now, and I love them, but they like totally dominate the middle of the tank because they're so active. They push the discus to the back most of the time, and so I'm thinking if I get give it a three of them, they'll still have enough to have a school, and then the discus will have a little more room and all that. So I don't know if I'm gonna do two or three. I guess we'll see how easy they are to catch, but there's definitely one that's going right there on the bottom left. It's like a short fin variety or a female or something like that. Basically, it doesn't have the same finage as the other ones. It doesn't have as good of a coloration as the other ones. So maybe I'll just get rid of that one and keep it at eight. But I do plan on getting some more cardinals for this tank today. And possibly a long fin albino bristlenose pleco. I know I just found the one Pleco was still alive in here, which is awesome, but it's a big tank and they're pretty small, so I'm thinking I might get one of those as well. We'll see. It depends on how many Congos I get rid of, really, because the bio level in the tank right now is in a pretty good place. It's just the middle is being dominated by the the Congos, and they're so fast also that they, they're they out-competing, like, everyone for food, basically. I feed the tank heavily enough that everyone still eats, but if there were less Congo Tetras, then the Cardinal Tetras would get more food, and I'm thinking that's probably what caused a couple of them to die. The smaller ones were just too slow and weak to get food from the Congos. So we're going to rejigger this tank a little bit. The second thing that I'm going to do while I'm at the market is uh, get a school of forktail blue eye rainbow fish for my 45 gallon planted tank in the other room. That, <clears throat> that tank is pretty full, but it used to have a school of surpays in there, of 10 surpays, and they did okay. And surpays are quite a bit bigger than the forktails I'm going to be getting, at least the ones I had. And, uh, I'm just going to get six. I'm hoping that more small fish in there will kind of like break up the aggression of my Emperor Tetras more. And uh, Forktail Blue Eyes are just awesome, so I want to try keeping them. I do kind of have a backup plan, I mean, in that <clears throat> if it's too crowded or whatever, I can move the ram into this tank and uh, potentially get rid of the Pearl Go Rami. I like it, but I think I would rather have the school in there. So we'll see how it goes, but I think I can make it work somehow. So that's probably what's going to happen today. That's the plan anyway. I'm not going to, I'm not planning on recording at the fish market because I have to take my baby with me and I'm going to have my hands full dealing with her and the, the fish and everything. So uh, I probably will just record a video when I get back home with the fish in bags, show you in the bags, and then acclimate you, acclimate them and show you the release process. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to pause the camera and I'll be back later. What's up guys? I wasn't going to film at the fish store, but then I saw these crazy catfish. Where are these things? They look really cool. I'm tempted to buy one, but I don't know what it is. Someone comment and tell me what species it is. There's like one in there, there's one in there. There's a bunch back there on the power head. I mix in with all these lace cats and yo-yo loaches and glass cats. Alright, that's it for now. I'm buying the fish and then I'm going to check back in when I get home. Alright YouTube, I'm back home. 
see right there. Got one of the long fin albino bristlenose. I ended up getting two of them because the price of two smaller ones, this size one, was less than one that was slightly larger, like a quarter inch larger than these guys. He was like, I'll give you two small ones for 40 or one tiny, tiny bit bigger one for 50 because he keeps talking about how hard they are to raise and all this stuff. And I was just like, I guess two small ones then because I don't have 50 but I have 40. So got two of them. One of them's hiding behind the sponge filter back there. I threw some green beans in here. I'll leave these in here overnight. So far, the only buddy, only ones eating at them are the cardinals. I got five more cardinals as well. Like I said, I only ended up getting rid of one, um, one Congo tetra. So there's eight Congos still in there, and now there's like. 19 cardinals. Three clecos, two albino long fins. There's one of them under the, it's probably the same one, but chilling under that piece of wood. Next to the albino koi cat. Here we see two different species of albino catfish. <laughs> I threw like a giant handful of algae tablets back there behind the filter, so... I don't know. They should have plenty of food. I'm pretty happy with the tank now. It looks sweet. The lighting ended up really good with, with just two of the lights on, this is what it looks like. I think this is the best configuration possible with my three lights that I have up there. It just really pops the blues, because it's like a bright white light and then like the red rainbow light or whatever it was, so... I mean the cardinals just look awesome. Congos do too if they come out, so do the discus, they're all hiding, probably because they see the camera or whatever, I don't know.